Hello guys, I am Josh 600 and welcome to Trying Games on the Pico Interactive Collection 4 cartridge here on the Evercade. We are going to start with the first game listed here that's already selected, Bad Street Brawler. Okay, read more for the description, because look at that. That's a lot of text right there. I don't actually really want to read it, but I will. Law-breaking crooks, thugs, and circus renegades rule the streets, and it's up to Duke Davis, former punk rocker and the coolest martial arts vigilante, to clean things up. Duke knows 15 force moves, but can only use three per stage. Try them out on the punching bag before each level to get the hang of them. Collect the thugs' weapons for bonus points at the end of a stage, or grab those which attempt to fly away for extra health. History. It was also known as Bop and Rubble on its original release in North American and Street Hassle in Europe. What? In North American and Street Hassle. That should be North America, not North American. Despite its North American title, it has little to do with the similarly named Bop and Wrestle other than sharing a developer. It was also one of the only couple of games specifically designed to support the notoriously awkward Power Glove controller. Really? The Power Glove? Katie says, you have different moves on each level, and some thugs are easier to beat with certain attacks than others. Experiment and remember what works well. Okay, play. We're not going to look at the, actually, we should look at the controls, but I'll look at them on this version, because I like this version better than just it listed in a matrix style. I like the diagram, personally. Um, so I, I did remap the controls from A, from, uh, from A to B to X and A. Um, so yeah, move one two and then hitting them both is move three um pa start pauses and exits practice mode and down crouches mm, okay copyright beam software bad street brawler tm my tv is loud let me turn that down okay one player start okay so there's a punching back here like it said sweep kick i like how the and like the the punching bag falls and then comes back to you punch okay let's see ear twist what never trouble trouble till trouble troubles you okay this is getting weird three two one let's pickle time is counting down before the character even loaded which is fantastic okay uh I like how the foreground blocks your, uh, viewing angles. Can I jump? No. Ow. These dogs are ravenous! Wait, didn't this say grab flying object, grab flying weapons to regain health? All it did was hit me. Ow. Die, dogs. Enemy. Oh, it's 5 HP. Yeah, and there's no turbo button in this game, which is weird. Not like it really matters, but it is a little weird. That there isn't any turbo. Ha! Oh, ah, I want that! Oh, wait, you can jump! Okay, the controls don't say press up to jump! Glad I discovered that just now. This game's a little weird, but I don't hate it so far. The music is funny. I like how you can punch the dog, even though the dog is, like, at your feet. I died? Wait, when did I die? How did I die? What? And my camera's lagging. But I didn't freeze. The punch also seems to have have a higher hit uh, box than the the low kick. So it's like you don't even want a low kick.
And it's weird, to punch the dog, you have to, like, punch its tail, which is even lower than its head. What? Doesn't make a lot of sense. But I'm doing a lot- Oh, what is that? That's a health power-up. Duck. Under him. Whatever that is, I don't know. I'm just breezing past through this level now. Who is that guy? What's he- what's he holding? I don't know, but... I wonder what is how long this game is. I wonder if you like you speedrun it just by never letting go of the button. Or like never stopping your punch. Ooh, is that a monkey? Oh god, okay, I'm gonna make a save state. I don't wanna I don't wanna lose at the bot. Okay, that's weird. After the save state ended, whoa that punch! Okay. Oh, all those things are weapons that get thrown there for the- okay. The race is not always to the swiftest, nor the battle to the strongest. But that's the way to bet. Trip. Okay, so... High kick. Headbutt. Okay, so your moves are literally different every stage. That's weird. It doesn't look like you're tripping. It looks like you're petting- you're gonna be petting the dog. With this move. High kick is awkward, but probably gonna be the best move. Alright, okay, anyway. Um... I'm gonna make two save states. Yeah, I'm just running to the right and constantly pressing A for this attack. No strategy at all. I beat the monkey this time. Aw, oh, I missed the banana though. Okay, this isn't good. I'm, like, I'm between them. Okay. Monkey! Die, monkey. You're the worst. When this guy swings his club, it's really not good. That's a bomb! What? Kill me! What? I was so far away from it! Okay, we're gonna try that again. How'd I jump over that? I don't know. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Hitting that dog with the high kick is really weird. Actually enjoying this game. I really shouldn't be, because this is not good, but I like it. It's just so silly. How you can just spam the same move over and over again and just completely dominate everyone. Oh, there's the bomb. Okay, I'm gonna make a safe state. Oh, what? What? Took out nearly all my health and I was as far away from it as I could possibly be. What am I supposed to do? I don't get it. Okay, jumping doesn't work. Does it? I'm not sure. No, it doesn't. It, it just kills you. Flat out kills you. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Wait, I'm out of time? When did that happen? Was I taking too long to beat the stage? Because I noticed my health is draining before the bomb even... Hold the, hold the, hold the phone. High kick. Okay, we're loading back level two. And this time, I'm just running straight to the right. Ignore everyone. Until the, the first mid-boss, which is the monkey. Yeah. Another monkey. Okay, I beat the stage. So yeah, I don't know how much damage the bomb does, but I was running out of time. So I don't know what exactly... Friends come and go, but enemies accumulate. So like I said, I'm liking this game. I just, I didn't realize the time was actually that strict, so you can't really kill all the enemies. So I guess, stooge hit. That's, that's, drop kick. How does that look? I can't even see. That doesn't look like a drop kick. But you can probably just keep spamming that. Cause Stooge hit. And what's the arm? The, the special move is the arm spin. That looks terrible too. Okay, let's keep going. And we're just gonna speed through it like we did last stage. Ew. That that floor looks a horrible shade of green. And Okay, this- these monkeys! Da 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 da! Now that reminds me of the death sound in, um... Bubble Seahorse Adventures from Indie Heroes 3. Dun 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 dun! Is how that one went. It was like a different time. A different to- like... 
It was kind of everything different about it. It just reminded me of it. Okay, whatever. Ignore the monkey. I don't even care. Okay, then another monkey pops up. Just spam it. Spam it! Yeah! You're such a bad street brawler! Yeah, wow, that, that bomb does a lot of damage. But it did it's not as devastating as it looked. Like not even like not even joking, I kinda wanna learn this game to speedrun it. This is the kind of game that looks really funny. And I just and I died again. Why do I want to speedrun it? That's a very good question. I don't know. It's funny. Oh god, this monkey. I hate this monkey! <laughs> it just punches you, takes out four tenths of your health. Oh wow, I just got spammed by bananas. And my camera officially froze. Great, I'll reset it after this game. Once I finish Bad Street Brawler. I don't know why, I've been having a lot of issues with like lag and the camera and everything, and I don't know why. Come on, monkey. Ah, you threw two bananas at me. Okay, ah. Wait, did that insta-kill the monkey? I don't know. Oh, you can kick the bomb off screen! That's so- that was actually really cool. I didn't know you could do that. Not all- well, obviously you- I don't know if other- you could have done it in the previous level. But in this level, you can. Because I guess just the way the hitbox is for the kick. So I was like, there's no way you're avoiding that bomb otherwise. Okay, Ouch. 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 I'm dead. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next game. I like that! Um, I think this would be a very interesting speed game. I don't know how long the level is, or the how- Uh, actually? It looks like the, it, the game is five levels long. If he knows five force- or fifteen force moves can only use three per stage. So that sounds like the game is five levels long, which isn't too long. So, I don't know. But yeah. Um, that, I, that was a, I like that game, actually. But yeah, now I need to uh, okay, reset the camera. The camera is so fixed. Fun. So now we're going to go on to our next game, which is going to be Risky Woods. Yes, we're skipping Glover and Mermaids of Atlantis for now. Spoiler alert, they're going to be in part three, along with Street Racer. Next up is Risky Woods. The wise old monks of the land have been turned into statues by the evil Daxer or Draxos. That's an interesting name. And it's up to the young warrior Rohan to save them across four perilous zones of two stages each, so eight stages. Rohan will need to fend off deadly foes, collect treasure, and free the monks from petrified captivity by destroying the statues in which they're trapped. Past the gatekeeper's challenges, and Rohan may even be able to get his hands on more powerful weapons. History. It was developed for both home computer console and its original release. While broadly similar, the console version seen in this collection includes few additional features over its home computer counterparts, such as the collectible armor links and the melody matching minigame. Rohan's outfit is also different between the two versions. Oh, well, that's the most important aspect. Rohan's outfit. Katie says, there are only two continues in the entire game. Wow. Make them count, or you save states. I'm not judging you. You know what, Katie? You judge us a lot. So, I don't believe you when you say you're not judging us about using safe states here. To be honest, Katie. Anyway, Risky Woods. Let's play. I didn't look at the controls because, like I said in the first game, I like doing it on here. So, A jumps, X fires and hold use skull staff, B is unlock gates chant. Whatever that means. Pause and move Rohan. So, Risky Woods. Electronic Arts, licensed by SEGA. We have all that stuff in this ROM. Anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna keep the defaults. Okay, that's all that is for options. Start, it's kinda loud. 
Three, two, one, let's pickle! Okay, I didn't- GET READY! Okay, Rohan, I'm just gonna make a safe save. I'm already- you're already- I'm already judging you! Says Katie. Well, Katie says she she doesn't judge, but I don't I don't trust her. Oh, you have to duck! You, oh, you have to duck to collect the treasure. Does the controls even say that? No. That's really weird that you have to duck to collect things. Did I die already? I did. What? What just happened? What? What's happening? Whatever. J just run to the right. That's all I'm getting out of this. Where's my health? Did, did, did that power up send me backwards? I think it did. I should probably read the manual for this one, but I don't know. If the, I don't think the manual had anything for this game. It really only had stuff for Glover, um, Street Racer, and I think like one other. Wait, I'm down to one life. I might, I'm probably going to have to restart because I have no idea what's going on here. Okay, I got a boomerang now. Yeah, see, look, that just took away a life and brought me... Why? How come the first one didn't? Are they- are- is it a gamble? Did that- did that fruit just kill me? No, it took away some time. But it healed me? What? I'm not gonna lie, I'm completely confused with this one. It's- it, it doesn't feel pick up and play like Bad Street Brawler, which I really liked, actually. At least you can spam the boomerang. I think I'm still on stage one, too. And I just fell. Yeah, it says stage one right- oh, well. Game over! How am I on the leaderboards? I didn't do anything. What? What is going on at the when you start the game? What is that like weird greenness? I don't know, maybe that was a logo that got edited out by Pico. Not sure. I like this menu music right here on the stage select, or not really stage select, but stage like preview for where you are on the map. No. Oh, thanks. Actually, I, I want that hourglass. You need. I need time. Maybe the manual. I should. I should see if the manual has something, but I don't have it in reach. Oh come on! That's not. It, I'm down to three lives? 
or two? I, didn't I start with like nine? I'm so confused. Is this invincibility? Like, I know I need that thing, whatever it is. How did I do that the first time without knowing what I was supposed to do? I think I just pressed random things on the D-pad and it ended up being correct, to be honest. Oh, uh, no, that's not a nine. That's a- I guess that is a three. It looks like a nine for the life. To be fair. Does this thing come up when you duck? No. Can you kill it? I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't like this very much. It's not... bad? It just doesn't really make sense. Why did he eat my jump in that exact same spot as it did last time? It's only in that spot, I swear. Well, that power-up just flew from the floor. Stage one not completed. You fail to save all souls. What? What does that mean? Are these souls? I, I'm not gonna- I, I'm really confused right now. Okay, look. Okay, that was worth 10,000 points. Why? And they didn't send me back. This time. But that does. This. Okay, I think you know what I am. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get up. Okay, it, it was more within reason I thought. Grab this. Grab the manual. And we're gonna look to see if there's anything in here right now. Because I'm so confused. Okay, there actually is stuff for this game. Oh, um. The status bar at the bottom of the screen will show how many monks remain in the current stage. Monks in black and white represent those you have not yet rescued. The colored monk icons represent those you have already freed. Beware, there are evil monks hiding inside some statues. Okay, what? Okay, those in the bottom. I see that below that um, wheel thing. Okay, uh, gate keys and gatekeepers. Okay. Okay. Useful items, armor links. Some items drop these. So be sure to collect them. You can hold up to 99 at once. If you have more than 33, Ronha will be protected by silver armor. And more than 60-70% of the clatter here on even stronger gold armor. Beware, taking damage or losing life will cause you to drop some of your armor. Continue. Occasionally, a miniature Rohan will spring out of a chest. Skull. Gold potion. Okay. 
What? Why is some sending me back? The manual doesn't say. Okay. I. <laughs> is my answer. Um, we're gonna reset. And again, that I don't know what that is. I really like that that, that um, music right there, though. So now I have four lives. And why did that not take away time and give me more health? It just gave me points. What the heck is that? Wait, what? Okay, I lost my life. I hit- okay, why does it land directly on top of that? So you can't grab it without going backwards. So I what- okay, that is- is that not a gold potion? I don't know- well, I don't know what it is, to be honest. Nice. Fall, Rohan. I haven't seen another monk yet. Oh, here's one. This guy. I missed him. Oh, cool! I take damage during that cutscene! Two! Oh, I love this game. Can't you- What? Sidney even jumps on these platforms! Oh, I love this game! And by love this game, I real I want to jump on these platforms! I love this game! And by love this game, I mean I really don't love this game. Is, the, is my mic working? Yeah, my mic's working. Ugh! You know what? I give up. And we're, and we're already at 13 minutes anyway, but screw this game. It, it, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It's, it, it's too risky for me. Yeah. Risky Woods is too risky for me. Okay, anyway, next up is a final final game for this particular video. Skull, I'm not sure if this is pronounced Skull Jaeger or Skull Jagger. Um, in my mind, I say Skull Jaeger, so I'm just going to say that. And if you don't like it, too bad. Uh, Skull Jaeger, Revolt of the Westicans. For ten years, Skull Jaeger has ruled the land of Westica with all the cruelty in his heart. And Storm Jackson has had enough. Fight back against the tyrant using his own deadly sword. Collect Gemeralds to earn the ability to shoot extra lives in extra time. Grab bubblegum for powers, for special powers. And watch out for hidden fantasy zones. They'll often require you to enter a combination using L1, R1, and up or down on the D-pad to access their secrets. History. Skull Jaeger's original manual included a novella of more than 70 pages that expanded considerably on the story told within the game itself. It also featured a number of cryptic clues that hinted at secrets hidden within the game itself. While we don't have the space to provide the full novella, we have slipped a number of these a number of those secrets into the contents of this cartridge's box. So you have to keep your eyes peeled. Okay, so a problem with that of uh, th this cartridge's box um 
only has, beside the manual, only has this poster of Glover or two Risky Woods. And that's it. So when it says this cartridge is boxed, does it mean the manual? Maybe, because there are so many pages with, like, this kind of uh, box that has, like, backwards text, which I haven't bothered to read yet. So, yeah, it could be that, but it's kind of weird to say this cartridge is boxed rather than just the manual. Anyway, um, and the buttons, again, we're going to look at, um, we're going to go inside and look at the control, the control diagram and not read the matrix. Okay, black screen with music of some kind. Okay, and then, okay, we finally get a logo. Skull Jaeger, Revolt of the Westikins. Okay, so controls. There's a lot here. Move Storm, Storm Jackson. Okay, pause. L and R just used to enter fantasy zones like the, the description said. A jumps. X attacks, shoots, throw object. And then B and Y are both activate bubblegum power up. Bubblegum. Cool. Okay, we're, I'm just gonna start the timer. Three, two, one, let's pickle. Um, one player start. Bubblegum practice. I'm just gonna do one player start. Chapter one, the sword. Part one, player one. Get ready. Lots of ones on the screen. I, I can't read this. Crush that foolish cockroach, Skull Jaeger shouted. Cupping his twisted mouth with both hands. I must have that sword back. I must. This game is super quiet. I can hardly hear it. Compared to the previous ones. Is there even music? I hear the sound effects like when I jump and use the sword. Or just use the sword, I should say. But there's like no music. If there is, it's too quiet quiet to hear what okay was that a uh, gemerald okay, make sure to kill the bugs out why is that damage sound effect so loud when you take damage? Okay, so I lost the uh, shooting power up when I took damage. Okay. That makes sense. Um, I, I kind of like that, actually. Um, what's How much health do you get? I got a cherry. That blue flickering black background. Okay, maybe the fruit has to do with bubblegum. It does. Uh oh, I probably shouldn't have used it yet though. So I don't know what I'm doing with it. So far, we have six green gemeralds. I don't know what, th what those do. Maybe those are our hit points? Next time I take a hit, I'll be paying more attention. Okay. Yay, orange. Orange bubblegum. I don't like the flavor orange. I, I kind of like this game so far, except for the, the volume is really bad. Oh, I lost all my gemeralds. Do you lose them all when you get hit? Is that what goes on? Are they like sonic rings? Where your gem where the the green gemeralds or whatever are your life force?
I don't know what the blue one does. Ouch. No? Oh, I died. Hmm. Probably should have used some bubble gum there. And the death fanfare was, guess what? Extremely quiet. Like it wasn't even there. Okay, die. That wasn't smart of me. Okay, I'm gonna make it safe state. What? I thought I could- I, okay, to be fair, I thought I could stand on this. So yeah, gemeralds are your health. In, in, in some capacity. I don't quite understand yet, but... Oh, I can- I didn't know I could destroy those rocks. Jeez. So many of them. Blue! How can the same red ones appear, but here they don't throw stones? Like they didn't before. It's kind of weird. That was weird. I, like, couldn't move horizontally. I got, oh, got a few pixels, and that was it. Now, where do I want to go? I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to stay to the left. And yes, I'm making another safe state. Ugh! Ugh! Ah. Chapter 1, the sword secret. Player 1, get ready. Well, ready or not, here it comes. Right. Danger. Oh no, they're gonna start throwing stones again, aren't they? Oh, what the heck was that thing? I looked like a ninja of some kind. Ooh, the music is slightly louder in the secret. I can actually hear something. I like this game, except for the music volume, sincerely. Okay, how do I get rid of, get through the bear trap? Just jump over it, I guess. Ugh! Oh, jeez. And then it... How does it jump? Okay, it's... How does it jump like that? How do bear traps jump? Ouch. Okay. One up! Yay! Look, look at its face right there. <laughs> He's in Roop- what? He's in Roop's warehouse, a kiltish sailor called. Company Blitz, take the front. Company Ravage, the back. What's up with like a bunch of like still images before it zooms in and does something? That's so weird in this game. It's like, it feels like you, it's waiting for a- ooh, secret. Feels like it's waiting for a button press, but it isn't. As far as I can tell. Ooh, I can actually hear some kind of music in this level, too! I 
I feel like Pico should have done, should have raised the volume of this game, though. Um... Uh, is there some... Okay, that, that rock texture... No. I can't... I don't know if I can... Oh, I can't climb this. It just wasn't working the first time. And also, I don't think you can... Oh, can you jump on them? Yeah, you can climb them from midair. I didn't know if you could or not. It wouldn't make much sense if you couldn't, but you never know. But it is finicky whether it actually lets you climb around. See, like, right here, it won't let me climb. It won't let me climb. There it does. I guess... I don't know, what, like, what has to be aligned for it to work. Oh, well, how are you supposed to avoid that if you automatically jump? I don't know. And I lost all my projectiles! We're already almost at 10 minutes. Again, I, I'm liking this enough. Die, vampire bat thing. You, it looks like a vampire. Okay, I'm going to use bubblegum power. Oh, how did I survive that? You're just good at the game, Joshua! Well, thank you. Alright, let's see if I can go inside this door. I don't know if this is like a fantasy- oh. I don't know if this is like a fantasy zone door or something, but it won't let me enter it, whatever. Unless that was unless that was Risky Woods, I don't even remember to be honest at this point. Ow! Hey, okay. at least I can hit these torches. I think. Okay, it let me hit the torches on the last door, not this door. This game changes the rules, and I don't like that. Give me that. What does the blue gem roll do? It doesn't count as health. Oh, what's shooting at me? Ah, oh, something from up there is shooting at me. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna save state. Ah, oh, okay. Can I get this torch? No. Okay, I want to kill this vampire bat. Oh god, this this is scary! I have to keep safe stating because I don't want to die. Oh, that one I could hit. Okay. So some torches you can hit, others you can't. Great. Yeah, I needed that projectile. And it's also a bit of health. Oh! Green gemeralds! Oh, okay. Give it. Give me them. I want. Whatever my name is. Um, what's his name? Storm Jackson. I lost my projectile. <laughs> okay. I don't want to go over there. Ah! Okay. See why I make these safe states? Oh, that's the end of the level! 
We made it. And he's making that weird goofy face again. Good job, Storm Jackson. Chapter one, the sword, part three. What? Didn't it? Didn't the uh, the description say there were um only a certain amount of levels? I missed the text. Hold on a second. Oh yeah, we're back. Okay, so um, I'm gonna make it. I made the safe state, but we're gonna load back here. Um, continue in three, two, one. Let's pickle. Um, because I want to see that text. And that goofy face again, of course. Hey. Chapter one, the sword, part three. You're crazy if you think you can steal Skull Jaeger's sword! Skull Jaeger cried, pushing through the steep streets of Tuskamesh. You stinking pond scum! Stinking pond scum? I need to start using that. The, the insult stinking pond scum. Alright. So that's it for Skull Jaeger, because we're like at 15 minutes now. Um, except, like I said, except for the volume, it, it, it's fine. I like it. Um, did it say how many? Oh, no, yeah, this game is the has the fantasy zones. Um, but no, this is not the game with a certain number of levels. I guess that was the first two. But yeah, that was Battery Brawler and Risky Woods. But yeah, um, that's it for uh, this first video of Pico Interactive Collection 4. Uh, I like it. So far, Battery Brawler is way more fun than I would have thought it would be, to be surprisingly. Risky Woods... Um, I was, ex I was, it's more disappointing. Well, I want to say that it's, it's confusing. And because of the, and the manual doesn't explain everything. It only has a few of the items or unless I, unless I'm misunderstanding that too. I don't know. Um, it's because of that. I'm, I'm not, I don't like it, but it doesn't mean I dislike it at the same time. If that makes sense for Risky Woods and Skull Jaeger, the volume issue aside, it's a, it's a nice platformer enough. Um, I'm interested on like what all the different uh, bubblegum powers do. And there's a bubblegum practice you can do, so I guess I could do that later. Um, but yeah, not bad for uh, the first uh, for the for this first part of the cartridge. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope you have a nice time. I'm Joshua 600 I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, where you can watch this stuff live. Me, okay? Goodbye. Thanks for watching.